Yam kapalka sumal bikiski kapalna. Warmest congratulations on your graduation and very best wishes for the future. Congratulations. May your life be full of linguistic awareness and linguistic diversity and of intellectual curiosity. Aguri. Congratulations. Mabruk, Mubarak Ho, and Jotjamat. That's well done in the Cologne dialect of German. Congratulations to everybody, especially to my final year noun phrase group, and also Chris and Heidi, you are great TAs. Pazdravljaju. Gratulatia. Congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations and very best of luck for the future. Mi más sincera enhorabuena y mucha suerte en el futuro. This is a tremendous achievement. I hope you, your family and friends are very proud. Von harte proficiat. Herzliche Glückwunsch euch alle zum Standener Abschluss. Für die Zukunft wünsche ich euch alles Gute und dass ihr eure Pläne verwirklichen könnt. Macht's gut. Tschüss. It's been a huge privilege to teach you. Many congratulations on your achievement. Enhorabuena. A very warm welcome to you, graduating students in linguistics and English language, and to your family members and friends. I have met and taught a number of you over the years and have very much enjoyed all opportunities to get to know you. I am very proud of all of you, and I just wish I could say to you in person today. I'm sure the same is true of, for my colleagues who expressed their congratulations earlier. So this is not the kind of July celebration that you and all of us have been looking forward to, but this is the time for a celebration. And until we can have the real ceremony, we created this virtual celebration in recognition of your success. So over the next half an hour, you will hear from Dame Nancy Rothwell, the university's president and vice chancellor, Professor Alessandro Schiesaro, the head of school, Dr. Tina Breban, our head of department of LEL. You'll also hear messages from Lisa Donlan, who was your tutor for a number of, number of modules, and from Holly Morse, a colleague in Salk. And finally, I'm very pleased to announce that three distinguished professors from the Creative Manchester Network also have a congratulatory message for you. These are Sir Peter Bazalgette, Professor of Creative Industries, Janet Winterson, Professor of New Writing, and Michael Wood, Professor in Public History. You do not just get to listen to speeches. Please also interact with us. You can follow us on Twitter using the Salk handle, and you can share your memories of your time at the University of Manchester using the graduation hashtags shown here. And you can contribute to the school's Facebook page by leaving comments. Now, before I hand over to the next speakers, I would like to say a few personal words. As someone who taught a final year class in semester two, I was a close witness to the effects of the pandemic on you. Some of you went back to a parental home, which may have felt cozy or crowded or something in between. Some of you found themselves suddenly very isolated. Some had to go abroad quite suddenly, and some of you became carers. As a teacher, like all of my colleagues, I had to adapt to pre-recording lectures and to running seminars online. I know very well that this did not all work out perfectly, but I can assure you that we did our best. You showed great commitment and resilience in completing your final assignments and sitting exams under these new conditions, and you should be proud of yourselves. Now sit back and enjoy. Hello, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to this virtual graduation celebration today. This is a time when we celebrate all your achievements, albeit in quite unusual circumstances. It's certainly a first for me as a way of marking your accomplishments. Thank you to all graduates whose magnificent achievements and hard work we're celebrating today. Not just your achievements over the last few months in these unprecedented times, but over the whole of your time with us at the university. I'm delighted you've been able to join or able to celebrate wherever you are with your family and friends. 
I'd like to thank them all for the support and encouragement they've given to you during your studies, which has been so important to your successes. When you decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make a major investment in your future, an investment that began to pay dividends almost as soon as you arrived. During the course of your studies, you will have gained the skills and knowledge to help you find success in future years. And more recently, you've proved even greater ability with your resilience and versatility in the face of a global transformation of our everyday lives and learning. Although you may be glad to see the back of assignments for now, the planning, research and writing skills you deployed and nurtured will be of great value in the world of work, or perhaps during further study. The way you've balanced commitment to academic life with other interests and the many competing distractions this great city of Manchester offers will help you find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfolds. And of course, we must not forget the strong supportive friendships and relationships you've forged here, which I hope will sustain for many years to come. Put simply, your achievement in completing your degree cannot be overestimated for its value and the strong platform it gives you to build your career and achieve your goals. Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe and we're determined to become one of the very best in the world. With around 170 nationalities on campus, the University of Manchester is already a truly global institution and one which will remain so, valuing its European and international staff, students and alumni. So armed with your academic success, your skills and your breadth of experience, there is every reason to be positive about the future. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognise the value of the award you gain this summer. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your success. Though it might not be in quite the way you had envisaged, it's still a remarkable achievement. But this is the beginning of the journey and your association with Manchester not the end. The return on your investment continues way beyond today. Our career service continues to offer you help and support for two years and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you to remain in contact with the university, linking you with a community of more than half a million Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. So we sincerely hope today will not be your last contact with the university. And remember that our doors are always open to you. Can I wish you every success in your future careers and every happiness in your future lives. Do come back and see us when you can. Thank you. My name is Alessandro Schiazzaro and I'm head of the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures at the University of Manchester. It is my great privilege to congratulate each and every one of you on graduating this summer and to recognize your hard work, effort and determination to succeed. You should be very proud of your great achievements and if we were in Whitworth Hall there would be a big applause now. Graduation is a very important part of the university journey and in celebrating your achievements. Despite graduation ceremony being postponed, we're pleased to be able to be here today now with you, your family and loved ones. We thank them all for the support and encouragement they've shown you during your studies. I would also like to thank all the colleagues in the school who have supported you both academically and pastorally. We're all extremely proud of you. Graduating from undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs across the school and of what you've been able to achieve. We trust that you find your time at the University of Manchester intellectually and academically stimulating. Certainly your degree program has enabled you to study and examine some of the most controversial and exciting topics of our times, such as the creator and identity, or the values of different cultures, or the relationship between the local and the global and between past, present and future, just to name a few examples. Throughout your degree, you have developed your capacities to think critically, to be creative, to ask questions. Furthermore, throughout these unprecedented times, you have shown remarkable resilience, passion and commitment. As you embark on the next chapter of your lives, all these skills, and especially these values, will help you to stand out 
as your future unfolds and you make a difference to the world. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize the significant contribution our students make outside of studies to the community in which we live. Each year, thousands of students from the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures get involved in a range of transformational extracurricular activities. This ranges from fundraising for charities to volunteering in commuting and arts organization to supporting local food banks. Students in our school have also supported young disadvantaged children with their creative writing through mentoring and poetry clinics. These are just a few examples which barely scratch the surface of the breadth and depth of activity that has taken place. And I very much thank and commend you, the great number of you who have participated in these activities and have every confidence that these have been creating, that these have created a strong platform of values, life skills and competencies which will be useful to you in the future. The importance of engaging with such ethical and socially responsible activity does not rest with students alone. Universities are a force for good. They contribute to making our world better through their research, teaching and engagement activities. A humanities degree in particular offers the critical and cultural skills which are more than ever needed to understand our world. As the philosopher Martha Nussbaum cogently argues, the study of humanity subject fosters the critical thinking necessary for independent action and for intelligent resistance to authority and enables the development of qualities such as imagination and empathy, which are the essential foundations of democracy. In a world where the frontiers of knowledge change faster than at any other time in human history, the methodological foundations you have built, thanks to a humanities degree, will be the most precious skill you have acquired here, and the one that will enable you to branch out in many different directions over the course of your life with full confidence in your ability. It will also help you understand better and oppose more valiantly some of the most pressing problems that we are confronting today, such as that of systemic racism. I would therefore like to take this opportunity to state again that the University of Manchester and the school condemn all racist violence and oppression and will continue to progress the race equality work we started. As you receive your degree, you enter a new phase of your relationship with the University of Manchester. You now belong to one of the largest alumni communities in the world and have access to a global network. With half a million alumni globally, you'll never be far from a fellow Manchester graduate. We very much hope that you will continue to be an active part of this extended community of alumni and supporters. Do keep in touch with us and visit us when you're back in Manchester. Please remember the staff are always keen to help you after you've finished your programs such as when it comes to offering advice or providing references. We wish you the very best of luck for the future and look forward to hearing you and how you're doing. Once again, warmest congratulations and my very best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Dear students, family and friends, it's a great honour to be here with you today and to be part of this celebration. You have successfully completed your degree programme in linguistics or in English language. This is a significant milestone. The situation the world and all of us are living through is unprecedented, unsettled and bewildering, which makes it even more important to stand still, to reflect on your achievement with family and friends and to mark the occasion and celebrate. My colleagues and I are extremely proud of all that you have achieved. We are honoured and grateful to have been a part of your educational journey. We have enjoyed teaching you, enjoyed sharing our passion for linguistics and languages with you. We have enjoyed reading your work and engaging in discussions and dialogue with you. The back and forth between teachers and students is the lifeblood of academia. It's the daily interaction with our students that inspires us, that fosters a fresh outlook and engenders new ideas. And for that, we sincerely thank you. I met many of you on your very first day of studying with us, away from the sun in the difficult to find basement room in Sam Alex, as programme director of our undergraduate programmes. Since then, you have come a very long way and each of you will have a wealth of stories to tell, documenting your lives in Manchester and your achievements. 
the last months of your studies have not been what any of us had envisaged they would be. But despite everything, you and my colleagues have continued to learn and teach and have worked incredibly hard to ensure we could get to today and the celebration. I watched my three dissertation students not just continue with their work, but rise to the challenge and actually use the lockdown to produce even better dissertations. I could not be more proud of them. Colleagues who taught you this semester talked of similar experiences and we were impressed, though not surprised, by your perseverance, cool-headedness and dedication, often in difficult circumstances. You showed true grit and resilience. There are a number of students whose achievements stood out in this final year and who have been awarded one of the departmental prizes. In name of the department, I'd like to extend special, special felicitations to Malek Aliyush, who has been awarded the Montfolic Prize for highest average final year mark, as well as a GL Brook Prize for outstanding achievement in English language. To Amy Williams and Zhang Jie Zhang, who have both been awarded a GL Book Prize for outstanding achievement in English language. To Lena Horak, who has been nominated by the department for the LAGB Outstanding Undergraduate Dissertation in Linguistics Award. And to Zihang Peng, who has been nominated for the QSTEP Prize for the best dissertation featuring quantitative data analysis. I'd also like to single out our graduating PhD students, Chris and Heidi. They have conducted their research alongside me and my colleagues, but they have also joined us in teaching you, our undergraduates, as teaching assistants and in Chris's case, as a lecturer. We are very grateful to both of them and wish them the very best. Completing a degree is no mean feat. Each of you has worked hard, has overcome obstacles, has pushed yourself to achieve this. Some of you will have a clear picture of what you want to do next and where you want to end up, but not all of you will have that sure vision yet. And this is in fact very common for a graduate in linguistics or English language, as there is no single obvious career path. Instead, you have a wide choice of possible careers. This may seem daunting, but you are in an excellent position to embark on this task. During your studies with us, you have built up a broad knowledge base and varied and malleable skill set. Linguistics, applied to the study of English and other languages, is situated at the intersection of disciplines. It is very much an empirical science, and in our programmes you have been trained through inquiry, using problem sets, data tasks and research projects. All of you have gained advanced skills in data science, covering different types of data collection, of quantitative and qualitative data analysis, of data summarization and visualization. You are able to conduct a project independently, to communicate on your progress and findings with precision and technical accuracy. As a linguistics or English language student, you complement these empirical skills with an arts mindset. You have developed skills of critical thinking, of logical argumentation, of creativity. Your minds have an openness to ambiguity and you understand that there is often a multiplicity of answers and factors. This is a highly desirable combination of skills to have. Above all, as a student of linguistics or English language, you have developed a profound understanding of language itself, of the way in which an economy of abstract building blocks leads to fabulously and fascinatingly diverse languages and language varieties, with endless possibilities for expression and creativity, and a deep appreciation of its awesome power as a social sign marking identity, differentiating situations and contexts, enabling communication. Being able to read through the mechanics of language 
and identify the essence of its message, as well as the social meaning it carries, is an invaluable skill you have in a world of complex messaging where language is power. If there is one thing my colleagues and I wish you to take away with you, it's a passion for languages, for the pure joy of understanding them and using them. We wish you all the very best. We are here for you to support you further on your journey. We can provide references for postgraduate study or jobs, and we love to hear how you are getting on and where your path is taking you. I would like to end by congratulating you all one more time and by raising a virtual glass to your achievements and future successes. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi all, I want to congratulate all of our linguistics and English language students on your graduation. I'm so grateful to have gotten to know you all over the past three years. I first met quite a few of you way back in September 2017 in both your first year of university and my first year of teaching in stylistics and English. And honestly, it has been an absolute honour to watch you all grow over the past three years. I have been so impressed with your resilience, your ambition, and also the kindness you have shown me and each other. My teaching experience at the University of Manchester would not have been the same without you all and I'm super grateful to have gotten to know you all over the past few years. I know that this isn't what you thought graduation would look like but I hope you're still able to celebrate your amazing achievements with your family and friends. You should all be so so proud of yourselves. Um, I wish you all really the best of luck with whatever comes next for you. I'm sure you are going to go on to do brilliant things and I can't wait to hear about them. Hello, I'm Dr Holly Morse and I'm the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures Associate Director for Academic Advising and Employability. And first I want to say very many congratulations to you on completing your degree. This is a fantastic achievement and it represents several years of really hard work and commitment to your subject. So I wish you all the very best for your celebrations today and for your future. I'm also here today to let you know that while you may have finished your undergraduate studies with us, the University of Manchester is still here to help and support you as you look to your future. The Professional Career Service at the University of Manchester are ready and waiting to hear from you as you decide what opportunities you want to take next, as you write your CV and as you prepare for interviews. They are available remotely throughout the summer from Monday to Friday and are available to work with you for up to two years after your graduation. And within the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures, your lecturers, your academic advisors and your dissertation supervisors also remain keen to help you after you've finished your programme by offering you advice and references. Even if you took courses outside of the school, please don't hesitate to contact your tutors either in other schools or from UCIL because we're always really happy to hear from our alumni. And as a University of Manchester graduate, you also now belong to one of the largest alumni communities in the world and have access to a global network. With half a million alumni globally, you'll never be far from a fellow Manchester graduate. So if you would like to connect with a graduate to help you think about what you might like to do next, why not contact an alumni through the Manchester network? They're there to offer ideas and inspiration for you when you think about your life after uni. So, good luck with taking your next steps. No graduating students before you have been better equipped to deal with and come through times of uncertainty. During your time at Manchester, you will have been developing the crucial skills that are needed to navigate this new professional environment. We hope you'll stay in touch with us because we care about what happens next for you. And your success as a Manchester graduate is our success as a university. Hi everybody, many congratulations on your graduation in this most extraordinary summer of 2020. It's been a time that's put a huge amount of pressure on you in particular at this crucial turning point in your lives. 
when you leave Manchester and you set out to make your way in the world. A world which more than ever needs your energy and joy and openness and your judgment and creativity, skills honed in your time here in Manchester. So many congratulations and on your determination and your application too, seeing it through during this lockdown. There's one more thing I'd like to add, and it's really obvious, I know, but you're graduating from the School of Arts, Languages and Culture, the humanities. And the humanities, as it says on those TV adverts, do exactly what it says on the tin. They're about being human. They're about how we live a good life, a life full of meaning and value. And your years in Manchester, I hope, will underpin your attitude to life in an ever more polarised world where a sense of justice and equality, truthfulness, good judgment and empathy are going to be the most valuable currency for us all. So very well done. Good luck. And finally, I would say, never lose your passions in life. They were what brought you here to Manchester in the first place. And whichever path you take, they will always serve you in good stead and enrich your life in the years ahead. And I hope you'll also carry with you in your hearts too a little bit of Manchester, the city of the world. All the best. Hello. I'm Peter Bazalgett and I'm Honorary Professor of Creative Industries at Manchester University. Congratulations, you've graduated successfully and at a very strange time in our country. You should be very proud of yourselves. Degrees in arts, languages and culture and the disciplines and jobs they lead to are going to be increasingly important and fundamental to a healthy society, one with a thriving culture and a strong creative economy. We're increasingly now calling them the shape subjects, that is social sciences, humanities and the arts for people in the economy. We really believe they are the shape of things to come. So take a bow and raise a glass, but my advice is not simultaneously. Congratulations. You are graduates of the University of Manchester, an institution founded on the principles of inclusivity, curiosity and progress. A multicultural university in a multicultural city. And I hope that as you go forward into the world, you will take with you the ethos of the university and the spirit of this place. It's been a difficult few months. The educational structures and the social structures were undermined in a completely unexpected way by the COVID-19 virus. You could have expected support and it wasn't there and there was nothing we could do. But in spite of this, you kept focus. You were able to concentrate. You completed your studies. And the spirit and determination that you found in yourselves during this time will go with you as you face future challenges and the world is a challenging place an exciting place but a difficult place so i want to ask you this what are your core values what do you believe in what do you want to support what do you want to protect what do you want to change and you can do this in ways that are big and small from the clothes on your back, the food on your plate, to maybe nudging your employer about their climate change responsibilities, to activism on the streets or in your neighbourhood. It might be volunteering, it might be food banks, it might be politics. You can get involved. You have a chance to make a difference, so think about the difference that you want to make. Be aware. Be active. But also, be proud of yourselves. Hold your head up, even if you are wearing a face mask. Now, I hope that you're going to go out and have a socially responsible party. And after that, please go into the world and make it the kind of world 
that you want to live in. Well done. To conclude, I would like to thank all the speakers and contributors, including any of you who shared photos or memories. If you have not yet had the opportunity to do so, you can interact with us on Facebook or Twitter, as I mentioned before. You will be able to revisit the celebration video on the school's YouTube channel and share it with friends and family. We are also planning a real graduation ceremony when it is safe to do so, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, do stay in touch. Drop in for a visit and a chat when the campus reopens. Your advisors and supervisors will be there for you to write references. So please send us an email if we can be of any help. The university's career service is also open for you for online advice over the summer. I really hope that on your journey forward, you take confidence and resilience from successfully completing your degree, and especially from how you have dealt with the challenges of the last few months. It is the confidence to express your views, to make an argument, to deal with a task that's out of your comfort zone, to be critical of what you read or hear, that will be your most important skill in this time of unforeseen challenges, but also opportunities. Congratulations on behalf of all of us from LEL again, and all the best for the future. It's time to stellify, be the focus, be the vision, be the brightest, the universe, be the future, be driven. There's half a million alumni in 190 countries across the globe, over 25 Nobel laureates. This is our genetic code. There's stardust in your DNA. You are a meteorite. You are the pen tempt in words. You're the lens sensing light. Be 10,000 degrees. Be light years, travel in time. Be the star of the universe and shine, shine, shine. Be the star you are searching for. Illuminate the night. Be the success that you wish for and be quicker, be faster, be bright. And as the future dawns, you'll get brighter by the day. It's time to let the sun shine through. You star, light the way. Make all the difference in every single thing you do. Stellify. It means to turn into a star. And the star that turns, it's you.